Hey guys, I'm Dr. Jessica Finley. And I'm Dr. Jeff Finley. And today we really wanted to share a little bit with you guys about our experience at Challenge Day. So this past week, um, Hilliard School Districts had Challenge Day at the school. So it's, there's only 100 students per school that were selected to do this. So we received a ton of messages of what is Challenge Day? This is going to be really, really hard to describe because there's you have to experience it, experience it to be able to understand it. So, the best way to explain it is that it's an anti-bullying campaign, but it's so much more than that. So what we do is we build trust with the kids, we dance, we play games, we hug. It's so much fun, you know, and then we get to the point where we all feel like we can trust and share with each other, and then we tear down some walls. We share some personal experiences. Um, we all have an image, is what I like to say, um, of how we want people to see us and how we want to present ourselves to other people. And we don't ever get down to the root cause of why we want people to see us that way. Um, and it was a, it was just a great time to share with our groups. Um, we called it our family, um, and it was, it was really amazing just to share with people that we didn't know. Um, at times I felt like my students or my group knew me better than Jeff, <laughs> which is not good. So it's, I think this is a great way to help relationships, to help students connect with other students on a different level. All week everyone's been asking me as they come in, they're like, oh, how was challenge day? You know, what was it? What did you do? And after three days, I still am at a loss for words at what it is. As Jessica said, calling it an anti-bullying campaign just doesn't do it justice. To say that the, can the whole idea of it was to break down walls and to be able to view each other as more than just the color of our, of our skin, the race, the gender, our sexual orientation. It sounds so cheesy when you put it that way, but it was so much more than that. For students who would never ever associate to be giving each other hugs and apologizing and sharing common experiences with what they've been through is what this program really allowed us to do. That somewhere along the way we were taught that we were only allowed to talk about things that were okay to talk about. Mm -hmm. Meaning if we were angry, if we were depressed, if we knew someone that had just passed away, <clears throat> if somebody and our family just went to prison, that we couldn't talk about these things because we would be judged, because we're different. But somewhere along the way, we lost that ability to communicate that. And that's what this day really did, was that it taught us to say, it's okay to talk about these things. And sometimes you don't need someone to give you advice. They don't. You don't need someone to tell you what to do. You just need to know that someone's going to listen and show you support and that they see what where you're coming from. As Jessica said, I shared things with these students that I don't know that I've shared with my wife. And so f here I came in thinking I was doing this for the kids, but I left with so much more. I felt changed. I felt different because of this day. One of the most impactful activities that we did, in my opinion, was in our small groups, we had two minutes and we were given the the saying, if you really knew me, then you would know that blank. And for two minutes, you were given the chance to just say whatever you wanted to say, to share whatever you wanted to share with no one saying anything, no one interrupting you, no one giving you advice, just listening. And after your two minutes were up, them thanking you for sharing whatever it was. And truth be told, to hear what some of these kids had to share for what they've been going through just broke my heart. But as Jessica said, it was more than just what these students can take away and do. These are things that all of us can do with our spouses, with family members, with friends, if we feel comfortable. And so really, I, I don't quite know how to explain what the experience like, but it, it was pretty amazing. So we just wanted to say thank you so much to all of the students who participated in Challenge Day. We hope that this week stays with you forever. We hope that you are making changes to be better and changes to help your friends be better and make the environment in your school so much better than what it has been. 
Um, also wanted to say a big thank you to the Hilliard School District for allowing Challenge Day to happen because without you guys, we couldn't have had any students to do this. Um, there are no words to describe the way we felt after leaving the school yesterday as an adult personally. Um, but we can only imagine what this is going to do for the kids in the future environment of the school. Uh, we hope that you guys can bring this back as well. Last but not least, we want to give a big thank you to Bobby Wright and Dots Tots Foundation for making all of this possible. Because without you guys with financially giving to the schools to do this, Challenge Day wouldn't have happened. But you guys have changed lives with this simple Challenge Day. Um, and we are forever grateful to be a part of this experience, and I know that the kids are too. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we're going to attach a link in the comment section uh, about a video that you could watch if you want to know more about Challenge Day as well as their website. They've got some great resources on there if you want to dig deeper uh, and find out really what was it that we went through. Hopefully they can describe it a little better than we were able to. But be sure to check it out, and thanks for tuning in.